this is you. You've probably been hearing a lot about climate change and how you should reduce your carbon footprint. But what is that exactly? Just like an actual footprint, it's a mark you leave upon the environment. No, not with your shoes, but with every action that releases carbons. Those are the harmful gases, such as CO2, which are pumped out by burning fossil fuels like oil or gas. The more fuel you use, the bigger your footprint will be. You may think that by driving your car, the only carbons you release come from the engine, but no. Consider the carbons that are emitted just to get fuel into the tank. From the energy needed to extract the oil from underground, the pollution caused by transportation and refinement, to the final delivery to your local petrol station. Not to mention the CO2 released by manufacturing your car in the first place. More than you thought, huh? So unless you live in a cave, you and everything you own has its own carbon footprint. Read a book, printing and distributing, it uses energy. Brush your teeth and your utensils will have a history in a factory. Even something as basic as an apple could have traveled hundreds or even thousands of polluting miles to end up in your local supermarket. You see, it's pretty much impossible to leave no carbon footprint behind. But that's no reason to stop trying. Think about your actions and choices and you'll be able to reduce your personal mark after all. That's how you really put the boot into climate change.